This video is going to teach you how to use synthetic division to divide two polynomials. So in the previous video I showed you how to use long division. In this video I'm going to show you a shortcut for dividing polynomials that works when your divisor, so this term here, when your divisor is of the form x minus b. And by the form x minus b I mean the divisor is degree 1 with a leading coefficient of 1. So divisors that would work would be x minus 4, you know, x plus 1, x plus 7, things like that. All of those, x minus 5, whatever. All of those are linear divisors with a leading coefficient of 1. Those synthetic division are great for. If you have a divisor that's higher than degree 1, so if we're dividing by like x squared plus 2, or x squared plus x minus 1, something like that, or where the leading coefficient isn't 1, like we're dividing by 2x minus 1. Um, synthetic division is not great for those. So I recommend only using synthetic division when you have a divisor that looks like this. It's linear with a leading coefficient of 1. Okay, since that's what we have here, let me show you how synthetic division works. So you start by remembering the rules from long division. So I'm just going to flash them on the screen quickly. Terms have to be arranged in descending order of degree in both the divisor and dividend and the zero must be used or sorry zero must be used as the coefficient of any missing powers of the variable in both the divisor and the dividend so um, when we're talking about synthetic division we're really just looking at the dividend for these two rules because we know our divisor is linear uh, in the dividend for this one uh, it's degree three so if we're going to use synthetic division I need to write the coefficients coefficients of the dividend in a row in this area here. So the coefficients of the dividend are 1, that's the first one, and remember the rule uh, if there are any missing terms. So for degree 3, uh, I should have a degree 3 term, degree 2, degree 1, and degree 0. Well I see 3, 1, and 0, it's missing a degree 2 term. So I should think of the dividend as x cubed plus 0x squared minus 2x plus 1. That means when I write my coefficients, my coefficients, I need to include a 0 for any missing terms. So my coefficients are 1, 0, negative 2, 1. So I write 1, 0, negative 2, 1. So I write all the coefficients of each term in my dividend here. And then I write the 0 of the divisor here. So by 0 of divisor, I mean for this divisor, what value of x would make this be equal to 0? Well, if x was 4, I would have 4 minus 4, which is 0. So 4 is the 0 of the divisor. So that's how I set it up. 0 of divisor here, coefficients of dividend here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to write an addition sign here so that I remember what operation I'm going to do. And I'm going to write a multiplication sign here to also remind me of the operation I'm going to do. And here's how it works. You start by bringing down the first term in the dividend and write it here, 1. Then we do the 0 multiplied by that answer in our quotient. So 4 times 1 is 4. Then I add. So I do 0 plus 4, that's 4. Then I repeat, do the multiplication again. 4 times 4, that's 16. Then I add, negative 2 plus 16, that's 14. And our last one, so do the last multiplication, 4 times 14, that's 56. And then we add 1 plus 56, 57. So these numbers here tell me everything I need to know about my quotient. So as we work from right to left, the term on the furthest right is your remainder. And then as we work to the left, these are the, are the numbers or the coefficients of the terms in your quotient. So the first number is your constant term. So I'm just going to put a number symbol beneath that to remind me that that's just the constant number, the constant term in my quotient. And then, so that's the degree 0 term. So this is the degree 1 term. So that's my coefficient of x. And this is my degree 2 term. So I'm going to put x squared beneath that. So basically my quotient is 1x squared plus 4x plus 14. And then there is a remainder of 57. So I can write my final answer. Uh, either in quotient form, so quotient form would be x cubed minus 2x plus 1 over the divisor of x minus 4 
equals the quotient, which is 1x squared plus 4x plus 14 plus the remainder over the divisor of x minus 4. That's quotient form. The other form would be uh, the multiplication statement. So x cubed minus 2x plus 1 is equal to the divisor x minus 4 times the quotient x squared plus 4x plus 14 plus the remainder of 57. And we could use this statement to actually check the division. If we multiply it out, we should get an expression equal to x cubed minus 2x plus 1. So that's how synthetic division works. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and go to jensenmath.ca for all of the practice questions that go along with this.